Hi guys, welcome to Royal Tech Hub. Um, my name is Victor. Today I'll be giving you a quick guide on deploying the customer engagement environment for Microsoft Dynamics 365. Uh, we'll be working through um, deploying a trial environment. So let's go to the training guide and see what we'll be having for today. So for today, we'll deploy a trial instance uh, that's a trial environment um, to give you a quick start on um, how you could launch into trying out some of the things we'll be bringing forth in the subsequent training sections that will be coming up. Also, um, I'll be doing the, a review of the out-of-the-box apps that come with um, the trial instance. Also, um, we'll be focusing on the sales app. Uh, also view um, the sys app areas that we have, the groups and the sub area under the sales app. So um, without much beginning, we'll go straight to uh, trials.dynamics.com where we'll be provisioning a trial instance. So you scroll down if you want to pick just one of the modules, you could select them. But if you want um, the enterprise customizations, you could just go and impute your work email. So I'll go with this at royaltechhub.com and put your contact details 6284 and so now it's it's notifying me that I already have uh, a license already because but um, if you're trying for the first time it's going to provision you with a trial license so what I'll do is just click on get started and it will go ahead to provision the Dynamics environment, so give it some time for you to set up. So now the environment has been deployed. As you can see, the app we deployed was the Sales Hub app. So you see, that's just the only app we have deployed on this environment. Um, to have a quick view of where you could set um, and get more information on the environment, you could just go to the Power Platform Admin Center. So let's go to aka.ms slash ppac. So we are there now. And as you can see, this is the environment we just created. Uh, this environment will be lasting for 30 days, after which it will be disabled was a trial environment to get the URL of the environment you just click on it and you have the URL you could sh share to um, your users or those you're working with in setting up your dynamics environment so we could click on this and it brings us to the environment also, you could install more apps on this environment by going to the Dynamics 365 apps. Click on the app, and as you can see, you have the install app icon here, where you can choose apps you would like to install with Dynamics environment. But I'll just leave the default that we have. So we'll go back, back to our environment. So now for the environment, what we have here, this view we are seeing now is an area in the sales hub app. Uh, what we have on this panel is this is referred to as the sub areas, those are the entities you put under the group that you have in an area. To switch from one area to another in an app, you go below. So these are the various areas you have under the sales hub app. So for the sales 
out of the box app what you have here is the dashboard um these are the activities this all these uh, informations are pre-populated and they're just out of the box to give you an experience of what it feels like when using the app we have um, the account entity where um, you could create new accounts. So an account in the CRM environment and depicts um, something like a company. Um, then the contacts are users that are available in those company. So you could link um, the users when creating. So for instance, um, you could click on new and give an account name and give the phone numbers and repopulate it with the details of um, let's say a customer you are having or a client um, then the personnel or the people working with this um, company which is the employee in this case will now be the contacts that you might be having so you could have um, various contacts under um, an account as the case may be then for this work area um, we have um, lead so um, for instance you have um, customers that you've done um, some marketing campaigns from your marketing apps and those customers um, made some response and you see that those responses are coming back as some um, possible customers you might that might want to purchase your goods or your service so that's where the lead comes into play so you could um, create a new lead and from the lead if um, all the parameters you set that moves um, a customer's interaction with you from a lead to an opportunity um, you, you then go to the opportunity tab from the opportunity tab you could then um, perform all um, the inputs that are necessary um, before moving over to the other stages so basically this um, the quick work guide on um, the sales hub. So let's just go um, create a new lead. So this is the form of the new lead and the various business process flow that will accompany the, the lead. We'll be giving more details on this in our subsequent videos, but I just wanted to give you a quick guide in deploying a dynamics environment. So, um, Watch out for the next video that will be coming out in which we'll be giving more guides on creating entities, um, creating a custom app just like this, um, the, the, the sales hub app you have. Also, we'll be integrating our custom entities with um, the custom app we've created. So thank you for your time and see you in the next training section.